Hey, Heather from Hooked on Pickin' here. I've got a new assorted toy palette from a new liquidator called Direct Liquidation. So we're gonna see what kind of condition the things are in, and I'm gonna unbox every item and show you everything that's in this box, and then also, you know, give you a rough estimate of what I think I can make. So check it out. All right, so I'm super excited. I'm always really, really excited to find new liquidators. And like I said, this is from Direct Liquidation. So there's their logo right there. Um, I got a really good deal on this one. They do more auction style palettes. And so that's a new fun way to purchase some items. And so we're gonna go ahead and get into this palette. But uh, first, I wanna give you the specs on this. So this is a Direct Liquidation palette. I paid $550 for it, auction style, assorted toys, new, like new, and customer returns. So let's see what kind of condition everything is in and what kind of toys we have. Are they typical big box store things or are they, you know, different? So we're just gonna start pulling things out and then, um, also, when I got this palette, it came right off the truck looking exactly like this. It was not wrapped on top. And so um, we have not opened this palette yet. This is exactly how it came off the truck. And so it's kind of neat because I can see a few things. So, um, you know, and this is how the picture was taken on the website, just kind of from the top so that you can kind of see roughly what's in it. So we're gonna start looking through. So here's a Lego set, which would be awesome to resell, except for it's been resealed. So the likelihood that all the pieces are there are slim. So I'm gonna set this here on this table and we're just gonna cart start kind of going through things. All right, so I see a few brown boxes and bags and stuff. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put these kind of things on a mystery table. We'll open a few on this uh, video and then I have uh, a video I'm going to do again where I'm gonna really break down all the numbers and give you uh, where I'm gonna sell the item, how much I think I can get for it, and then a total guesstimation, um, estimation on how much I'm gonna make. So, ooh, there's a spider. Go spider. <laughs> Alrighty. But, um, so I'll have a mystery one, so stay tuned at the end. I'll open a lot of the mystery ones and then um, you know, watch my second video for a full reveal of the mystery ones. So Star Wars, the black series. I'm looking to see, has it been taped back together? Now this flap has been taped, but that was just to see in there, but the actual seal of the box is still good, it looks like. So <clears throat> we'll see how many spiders we can find. Spiders, to be honest, could have come from here because I live around a lot of trees and we get some spiders. All right, here is a Batman. This looks a little bit like a vintage one, but I'm not for sure. Mega Corp. Um, so we'll scan some of the barcodes and give you some details about that. But it uh, looks like the box is a little bit worn out, but <coughs> unopened. Here's another Star Wars item. The Force Link. All right, now this one, I actually had a friend of mine looking at this and ooing and eyeing over this because it's a Nightmare on Elm Street, Freddy's Revenge. Um, and so I don't know if this is a collectible. The bummer is the sticker is on here. So if it is collectible, they don't like this kind of thing. They want it to be unscathed, but we're gonna look this up and kind of see, um, you know, what is on this one you know, and how much this one is. So I'm gonna set this one kind of here. We'll try to give you information on this one, on this video, and then we'll do a total reveal. Here's a Minecraft um, Steve on a donkey. You can see from the side, they got this big orange sticker on the front, but we'll see that. So we'll have to see how easily, you know what, I'm just gonna do this right now. See if these stickers come off easily. So this is a good, good thing to know those come off without tearing the packaging. So I'm actually really excited about that because that means I can not destroy the packaging. Now, clearly this one <laughs> is not in good condition, but I will look and see, maybe I can sell this as um, in a used condition because the, the package damaging, or I can put this on eBay and just sell the doll alone, but it's a really big, large doll. Um, here is like a bed sleep set but it's been completely opened. It's falling out on both ends. So my goal is to get it out without having all the pieces everywhere. So we're gonna put this one back here because it's clearly in non-resellable condition. Alrighty, let's see what else we got in here. So now we're starting to get to some of the stuff I haven't seen yet. An Air Hogs, 
Extreme Rider. It's got a little guy that stands on here, and so it's like a little drone. Has that been opened? This one here? Um, it looks like, yes, the seal's been broken, so we're going to definitely inspect that. So a lot of this stuff, um, let me see, a Nathan Drake. This one's been opened, but it doesn't look like it's out of the packaging. So in those instances, we can sell things uh, used like new condition. Um, here is another one. First play, Frolicking Frog Pull Toy. So it's a little wooden toy that the head bobs when you pull it along. Uh, already I know, this is Melissa and Doug. I'm restricted for selling Melissa and Doug on Amazon, and so I know for sure I won't be able to sell this on Amazon, but they definitely sell really well on Facebook Marketplace or on eBay. And so that one is probably not going to go on Amazon or on hookedonpicking.com. So that one will probably be on hookedonpicking.com. See? <laughs> I'm the worst of all. Okay, mystery item. Mystery item. A couple more mystery items. And a couple more mystery items. So we're going to set these on our mystery table. So this is what I'd like to do with my mystery stuff. I have a hooked on picking hat that I'd love to give if you can guess any of the items in the mystery items. But it has to be when this video first comes out. Please leave a comment what you think could be an idiom. And the first one to get one right, I will send in the mail a hooked on picking hat. So I'll reveal who it is uh, on probably one of my live streams, contact you, and then um, you, you know, will have to send me an email with your contact info, and I will send you a free hooked on picking hat. Alrighty. Star Wars. That's the back. Force Link. Is it open? I don't believe so. No, this one is sealed. Very good. This one is sealed. Yep. So that's a good one. Oh, that's creepy. Sorry. <laughs> the Incredibles baby just was staring at me. So obviously this is cosmetic. I can just wipe this off. This has been broken here, but um, everything inside it is in good condition. So I could definitely sell this in like new, uh, not like new, but in used condition and just be able to put on the condition knows that the box is in rough shape, but the actual item is great. All right, a mystery box, a mystery box. Lots of mysteries in these ones. All right, let's see what else we got. Playful pup. There we go. One of those zoomers, playful pup. So clearly this is probably a shelf pull because of the condition of the box um, or customer return because it looks like it's been taped back. So we'll have to see what kind of condition the puppy is in. Um, if it's in really rough condition, sometimes I'll put um, these in my own garage sale. So I usually have a garage sale a few times a year. Um, and so that's an option too. Here's another baby toy. Box is damaged, but the toy looks in great condition. I don't know if it has batteries. Works. All right, here is a The Big Bang Theory Leonard, The Big Bang Theory Penny. These are in great condition, never been opened. This one, yep, this one's not been opened either. All right. This sounds terrible. Look at this game. You've got crabs. But it's got like crab hands and it makes you, you, I, there was a game I saw called Tiny Hands. It was just like this where you have to put the crabs on your hands and then do things like use the, in, um, and then it says a player holding the card must also wear the glorious crab on, on their hands. And then they have to like do tasks like put a hat on or pick up a pencil or something. It's rather humorous. All right. So I'm seeing some better condition stuff towards the bottom here. We've got a Fingerlings Friendship. This has not been opened at all, so this is definitely in great resellable condition. All right. Wizard Wand. Um, this is from the drag of Dragons and Fairies and Wizards. Uh, you control the magic. So that's cool. It must be a cartoon I don't know about. <laughs> my kids, I used to know all the cartoons when my kids were younger, but not so much anymore. Oh, those are nice. These are razor skates that you strap to the back of your shoes. I got a couple of them. 
Is it open? No, these are brand new. Great. Let me grab the other one here. Grab these mystery boxes. I'm gonna have a whole table of just mystery boxes. All right. Then we have Ready Player One figurines. Another one of those Razor. Here's another Razor Healy Jobber, because that's the official term. Healy Jobber. All right, here's a really nice fire truck. Well, this came just untucked, but I think it's brand new basically. Yeah, because this has been sealed. I don't know why it's untucked, maybe just shipping. So the box is in a little bit of rough condition, but not too shabby. And it's dusty, but that just takes a wet wipe to fix. Alrighty, let's see what else we got in here. Mystery box. Ooh, that's a heavy mystery box. Here's another mystery box. Oh, here's Beyblade, which used to be popular a while ago, but they're kind of going out of popularity. Here's a Spirograph shape set that looks brand new. Totally brand new. So my daughter loves these things. She's big into arts and crafts. All right, spin off. This one clearly sounds like it's been opened. You hear it? So that one's probably been opened. I'm gonna set it over here next to this bed tent that we can't sell. Um, here's a Pokemon cards, and this is still sealed completely in the in the uh, cellophane. Expensive. Yeah, these are usually I've seen them at Walmart for around twenty bucks, twenty to thirty, depending on which one they are. And so that's definitely going to be worth it. Here's another mystery box. Here's another mystery box. All right, let's see what is this. This is Black Panther figurine with Everett Ross and of course Eric and then uh, we have this has been opened so it's some sort of a, it a kids play set kids play set yeah sleepover party so we're gonna put this here but legend series for the Black Panther is definitely resellable we've got another one of those Sunny and Stormy Day game. Looks to me like it's not been opened. Yeah, I think it's brand new. It says only at Target. So I don't know if all these toys are from Target or if it's a mixture. All right, we have a BB-8 here. These I know are expensive. Now the box is boogered up, but I'm going to look inside and see what kind of condition it's in. If you look, it opens up to a big BB-8 playset, and there's another one in there as well. So um, I'll definitely, since this one is already open, kind of investigate this one um, and probably sell it in um, used condition and be able to put on the condition notes what's, what the condition is. Are all the parts there? Things like that. So here is a remote control 20 piece turbo two bracer set. Let me see if it's been open. Nope, this one looks brand new with the little two bracer car in it. So, so far as I get further down into the box, I'm seeing uh, much more resellable items as far as the Amazon platform. So I think we're gonna do pretty good. Star Wars Millennium Falcon. Oh my word. I might have to show some of these pictures to some of my friends. I've got a friend who her, her husband is a crazy Star Wars fan, but these will all go for sale right away. <laughs> I base everything off of what I find. This one's clearly been opened um, because of the tape and you can read, well, it works. See? So that's why this is, this is open. You can hit the button and make it work. That's cool. All right, so lots of Star Wars so far. All right, we've got another Star Wars. 
this one, it's not sitting in the box real well, but it's uh, basically a lightsaber. I have to cut the box here pretty soon, but here is a fairy wand. You control the magic. Oh, that's supposed to be open. No more magic. No more magic. I'm probably just not working it right. All right. Let's see. Oh, this has not been opened. These are actually really expensive. We have this game. It's so much fun. Um, and it's really popular. I think there's another one called um, something unicorns. Um, but exploding kittens. That's a fun game. All right. Let's see what else. Here's Deadpool figurine. A couple of those are in great shape. So not been opened. Oh, let's go around this way. A big old car, remote control car. That looks brand new. Do you see anything wrong with it? I don't see anything wrong with it. <laughs> Sorry, I had to sneeze. <laughs> I think it's the dust. So that's in great shape. We'll have to see how much that goes for. I'm going to set that down here because it's a larger item. We've got another BB-8 here. Hyperdrive BB-8. Um, I think this is one of the ones that actually rolls around the floor with a remote control. All right. Mystery box. All right. What's this one? Cool maker, sewing machine, magically create cool maker sewing machine. This one, the box is a little bit, it looks like it's been put back in the box. So this looks like a customer return. All right, let me come around the front here. Elves at play. Haha, <laughs> this is a perfect time of the year to, to sell this one because uh, it's going into fourth quarter and people are gonna want stuff. So this comes with the Elf's at Play books and it looks like a game of some sort. All right, there's another mystery box. I've got quite the mystery box table going over here. You gonna cut the box? Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead, awesome. cut the box. So you guys- The joys of being a short person. I know, I'm a shorty. Cut the box and not me. Yes, don't forget to guess the mystery boxes. Uh, like I said, I'm gonna give a free hooked on pick and hat to the first right guess on this video. I put the comments in order that they came in. So make sure you guess the right mystery box. Kind of make myself a door here. All right, I think we made it low enough for me to reach. There we go. Alrighty. Another one of these playful pups. Looks like it's been opened and retaped back. Little preschool toy. It's called a mini, okay. It looks like a xylophone, right? I think this is the funniest name. It's called a mini Glock. <laughs> <laughs> when I think of Glock, I think of a pistol. <laughs> Here, buy your baby a mini Glock. 
Please don't buy your baby a real this is weapon. False advertising. False advertising. I wanted my baby to have a weapon. <laughs> yeah. Another mystery box. They're all kind of the same size, so I'm guessing when we open up one, we're going to figure out what's in it. All right. Wizard wand. You control the magic. Another one of those. Ooh, big mystery box. Big mystery box. What's in it? Let's see your guess. Maybe it's a Glock. It could be a regular size Glock. Oh, no. Every one of these little boxes must be a Glock. <laughs> Two more mystery boxes. All right. Here's another BB-8. Uh, looks like similar condition, box condition, with the bottom being open, but everything else looking pretty okay on the box. So I'm going to set this one down here, and there's another one underneath it. So that's three of these. I know these were selling for close to the $100 range, I think, at the stores, maybe more than that, when they first came out. So we'll have to see what they're going for now. And clearly all of these I'm going to sell probably in used condition just because of the box condition. Um, and make sure that I put what's all in there. Here's a transformer. Oh, that looks cool. Yeah, the little guy. Uh, it's a remote control, so it actually drives around. Has it been opened? Yes, this one has been opened. It looks, no, the box was broken, so they put a piece of tape there, but I don't think it's been opened. Nope, because the regular seal tape, if you look here, is still connected on both sides. So yeah. So it looks like just the top of the box got crushed. Hey, my little pony. There's that. Here's another Lego box. It's been opened. We're selling Legos on eBay really well. So, and when we sell our Legos, it's actual Legos. It's not Mega Blocks or some other generic brand. So check out my eBay link for the Legos. This one's, this is called Smarty Pants. Let me flip it around for you. Engineering set. Looks like this has been s still sealed. Oh yeah, looks good. Yeah. It looked like stuff was supposed to be here, but it's been, it's still sealed, so I don't think anything is missing. I think it's just the way they packaged it. All right, here's a WWE female wrestler, Bella. I think I have one of these for sale. I'm, uh, not this one, but I have Bella character for sale on my hookedonpickin.com website. Remember, this is all from direct liquidation. Um, and so uh, just be aware of that. If you want a palette that looks like this, just contact direct liquidation. They sell more than just toys, but um, just be aware that they have lots of different categories. Like I said, this one was bought auction style. Here's a leap pad. It's been clearly opened, but I'll t the nice thing is the things that are, are opened, I can take out of the box and test to make sure what I'm selling is going to be good. So this will be hookedonpickin.com, Facebook Marketplace. We're almost to the bottom of the box. All right. Cabbage Patch Kids. Look at that. She's cute. So that one's not been opened. Holiday edition 2018. We've got, oh, this is a Goldberg building set. Looks like everything is still there. When you open this, I think just the, it just came undone. Uh, looks like everything is still there, so I'll definitely, because it's open, go through the contents and make sure it's all connected. I don't know what this is. Oh, it's a little ducky. I'm not sure why there's a fancy, it's a fancy rubber ducky. Mm. Everyone needs one. Everybody needs a fancy rubber ducky. All right. We have two ducks that live in our backyard. I call them the Aflac ducks because they're white. All right. Motor works. Build your own motor, Smithsonian. <laughs> Look at this. 
this one's been opened, so I'll have to definitely, this next thing has been opened. I'll have to definitely check the contents, but it is a Jurassic Park board game. And we've got, oh, Incredibles 2 laser tag uh, guns, actual laser tag, so. And we've got, so far, I really love this box. I think there's just a lot of high dollar one things in here, even used, I can sell them. Um, so it'll be, it'll take a little bit of time testing them, but I really like the price that I got on this palette. So I'm excited about this. So we've got a Leap TV, educational big video gaming set. Let me just climb in here. I've got a, a Polly Pocket with nothing in it. I think it's... <laughs> <laughs> Probably in there somewhere, but it's repackaged. A dollar for the box. box. Alrighty. Here's another one of those legends from Black Panther. So those are all in great condition. Alright. Mystery box. And another mystery box. So I've got two. Put those on my mystery table. Alrighty. Then we have some larger items. Here's a Hot Wheels set that sounds like it's been opened and missing half the cars. So I'll look through this, make sure everything is still there. If everything is still there, I'll go ahead and sell it used condition. So a little bit more time invested in some of these things just because I have to see if everything is there, but a lot of money still. This one has not been opened, I don't think. No. Okay, it has. But all the trains are there. All right, and another one of these big cars. So we got another one of these. This one looks like it's been opened. So we'll definitely investigate that one. Oh, there's a little figurine down here of Justice League. They talk. The flash. Yeah. yeah, I think so. yeah. So does he talk? Time to turn up the speed. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna play all day with that. All right, and then Connect Four, basically generic Connect Four. No, it's Jumbo Four. Jumbo Four. Four across. Four across. <laughs> it's not Connect Four. Not Connect Four. It's Jumbo Four. All right. So I did tell you I was gonna open a mystery box. So what I'm gonna do is open the large one because a lot of the other ones kind of go together and I wanna make sure that you guess the right thing. So why don't you come on over here and we're gonna open this larger one. Here, let me just come, up, come down on the floor here and make it easier on myself. And we're gonna figure out what's in this one, but I want you to guess what's on that mystery box table. Any correct answer on this video, the first one to get the correct answer on this video, receives a free Hooked on Pickin' hat. So I will send it to you. So if I announce on a live stream that you have won it, let me know your contact information and I'll get your address and it will be shipped to you for free, okay? So let's see what's in this one though. This one is cardboard. Da 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 da. It is. Oh, that's a cute little doll. Because it doesn't have its original uh, packaging, this will probably be for sale on hookedonpickin.com. Remember, I got this palette from Direct Liquidation. Uh, the link will be in the description below. But um, like I said, I paid $550 for it. You can buy this auction style. It's assorted toys of new, like new, and customer returns. So I'm actually really excited because there's some stuff that I think is going to sell for really, really good. Yes, the condition on some of those things is questionable, but I can sell a lot of it it's still used or on the eBay website and just be able to note all the condition notes. So I'll do some, I'll take some time making sure that everything is in great condition that I put for sale, but be looking for this on hookedonpickin.com for sale 
or um, I'll be uh, reselling some of the brand new items on Amazon.com. So check out Direct Liquidation. I'm really excited about this palette. It's getting to be fourth quarter. Toys are going to definitely blow out, and um, I'm excited about it. Hopefully it's been helpful to see what kind of uh, condition you can get an assorted toy palette of new, like new, and customer returns. They sell many other things at Direct Liquidation, so check them out. And remember, in the end, Jesus wins. Hey, thanks for watching. I hope you learned something. If you'd like to watch more of my videos, just click on them here. And if you'd like to learn more about the reseller world, subscribe to my channel and check out my other videos. Thanks.